So you might be thinking to yourself, where is the adjustment for the valve train on this Kawasaki FS600V? As you can tell, it's not here on where the valve stem is, and it's not back here on the rocker arm where the push rod is. The adjustment is actually right here. This is a cam, and whenever you loosen this nut and you turn this bolt, you can change the attitude of this rocker arm on its axis through this fulcrum bolt. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and crack the nuts loose. It's a 10 millimeter. You don't have to loosen them very much, just get them cracked loose to where you can turn the bolt underneath of here. See how that works? So we're way loose. See if I can get a better shot for you guys. So whenever we go to adjust the valves on these, your clearance, you're gonna want, you know, four to five thousandths right here between the rocker arm and the valve stem. So when you go to turn this bolt, you're, you're actually moving the rocker arm on its axis and via that camshaft or that cam lobe that's right in the middle, right here. See how that works? So it's so super simple to adjust the valves on these. Of course, you wanna get your engine at top dead center on the compression stroke, but you just put your feeler gauge in there and you tighten this valve down where you just have light drag and you can use your thumb to get that light drag and then basically you're going to hold this nut or hold the bolt and then we're going to tighten the top nut. Once you get that set where you where you feel good about it and just hold it and then you're going to tighten up the nut and that's going to lock everything <clears throat> lock everything down and then you're still got your light drag on your four thousandths and that is just about it all right let's go ahead and adjust the exhaust valve let's go ahead and put your feeler gauge in there and we're just gonna tighten this bolt here just until we feel light drag. Light drag on this feeler gauge right here. A lot of times you can just let that feeler gauge stick now. Now, get your wrench and we're going to just like that. And then we can tighten 
this top nut. Just, and just snug it. You don't have to kill it. And then you still should maintain your slight drag on your four thousandths. And that, folks, is how you adjust the valves on a Kawasaki engine with this style of valve train. If you have any questions on how to do this, I recommend doing it cold. Uh, I like to do mine on a little bit on the uh, short side. If it's four to five thousandths, I like to do mine on four. Just, I've always done it that way. But anyway, hey, if you, have, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there doing that, go ahead and click that bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good day. More Medic One.